How might we create an open textbook using OER Commons creation tools? Well, in this first video, we're going to have a look at the open author tool. I thought it a good idea to show you what it might look like uh, before we start building. Here is one that I've put together for number theory. And you can see the uh, specific objectives as identified within the curriculum. And if I scroll down, you can see an example then of uh, the number of OERs we've collected in order to try and um, achieve the specific objective. Uh, for specific objective number one, for example, there are five. And you can see we've pulled from some well-known um, service providers. We've got CK12 Foundation, we have Open Algebra, and the Open High School. An investigation of how we laid out the textbook uh, reveals that we have not embedded the OERs into the open author rich text editor. Instead, we've just linked to them. So um, if we were to mouse over, you can see then that these would be hyperlinks to the external resource. OK, so let's get started. Um, uh, make sure that you are at the front page of OER Commons and you'll see right at the top on the right hand side uh, an item called create. So we're going to use their creation tools to create our textbook. You'll notice then that they offer you three particular tools. To begin with we're going to try out the open author. So let's start authoring. This is the Open Author Rich Text Editor screen. Um, we're going to start off by laying out the structure of the open textbook. So we'll give our textbook a name. Um, in this case, I'm going to call it the um, OER Maths Textbook and save. Um, and now I want to say, you know, that there are a number of, of subunits or chapters. So I'm going to add a new unit, and in this case, I'm going to call the first one computation. Um, and you can see then I can actually uh, add subheadings. So here I'm going to go for specific objective one, and I'm going to skip the subheading and go for another one. This will be specific objective two. Um, then I can add another unit and in this case I want this one to be called number theory and um, we can again do the specific objectives that's number one and obviously the idea is to have as many as you require I'm just putting in two and I'm gonna, I want another chapter. In this case, I'm going to call this one Consumer Arithmetic uh, and put in the specific objectives. And you can see the structure is now beginning to form here on the left hand side. I've returned to computation and now I want to add in a little banner. So uh, the, this rich text editor does allow you to insert some media um, choose the little paper clip and um, it asks you what is the URL or are you going to upload a file. In my case I want to find the little banners I've made for my textbook and the idea then is um, it's uploaded to the OER common server. Um, what is this image? It's just a computation banner um, and um, it asks does it need a long description no it doesn't it's just a little way to break the monotony of all the text so I'm going to submit and you'll see it's now positioned the uh, picture in the uh, correct place I'm going to say I want it to be on the left and um, I want to force all my other uh, characters further down. 
Now it's time to insert the actual text of the of the open textbook. And in my case, I've cheated. I've I've actually written it previously, and I'm just going to copy and paste it in. But make sure I put it in the right place. So in this case, I am going to put it under specific objective number one. Uh, we can see now that uh, there is my competency or the specific objective that I want the students to be able to achieve and here are my OERs with hyperlinks to where you'll find them on the internet. Once you are satisfied that the content and any images or media are, are inserted in the correct place then we need to move to the next step which in this case is called describe. This is actually all the metadata um, that goes with the resource. Metadata describes the resource and lets us know what it is. So it is possible to put in the abstract to identify the general subjects, the educational use, who it's for, what is the material type, what are the learning goals, and so on. Once you are happy you've done this correctly, then you'll see there is a submit button. In this final screen, they want to know what license or copyright license are you going to uh, subscribe to. Uh, for example, it asks, are you going to allow modifications? And you've got three options. Are you going to allow commercial use? Yes or no. And, and then what jurisdiction are you working in? Is it a specific country or do you want the license to be international? Um, when you um, apply these, you'll find that it generates a Creative Commons license. Um, and um, positions it on the work. In this case, uh, it is now a Creative Commons attribution. Uh, for international license and when you're ready you can push the publish button this makes it accessible to other people who are using OER Commons they can find it by using the search tools